Okay, um, hello, my name is Kevin Martinez, and today we're going to be going over some electrochemistry, and free energy and redox reaction. Well, the relations of uh, the Gibbs and the free energy cha charge of the delta G and to the EMF, EMF of the electrochemical cell. So, this means um, the oxidation numbers and the real charge of the the results of a method where we can find where is the energy going into a, from a chemical reaction and today um, we're going to be going over a pretty simple problem you just need to um, listen and follow through so example number one use the standard reduction temp re reduction potential Let's in the calculator, I mean, cal and calculate the standard potential free energy charge. Find the delta J, G, and the equilibrium constant of K at 298 Kelvin. So, this question is pretty straightforward. It says to find the delta G and the equilibrium constant at a uh, room temperature level. So, uh, I was already working on this problem, so I have it written. So first, we're gonna need um, we're gonna need, need this formula to find delta G, it, and the formula is really simple and easy to solve. Delta G equals to negative n f of e. Delta G equals to the number of electrons moles times F which is 96 500 times the E so it's the amount of volts from a reaction so what we have to do first is get the equation which is given of 4 silver plus O2 gas plus 4H aqueous 2 going to 4AG plus 2H2O. So in this, in electrochemistry, we're going to have to find that the reduction in oxidation and separating the regular equation into two. So in this part, you're going to separate the, the oxygen and the silver. So oxygen will be O2 plus 4H, 2H2O. To balance the equation, we will have to multiply, um, in, I mean, add two el electrons on the left side, making this this equation the reductant. And the other one is 4Ag, 2,4Ag, which is um, pretty the same thing, but is the oxidation by canceling the four, uh, the four moles elements. So we put the four over here. And since we are, we have a two on the first equation and a four on this one, we will have to multiply by two on this in this part to be able to cancel out and get the regular equation which is on this, which which is this. So we will do that. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. And then you will have to look at the um, reduction potential list, which is given most of the time or if not it, it will be on your book um, to find the total ball to be able to use this formula we'll have to add or subtract both of these um, bolts so the first one is going to be given is 1.23 volts and the other one in your list will be 0.80 volts but since the uh, silver which is 0.80 it's oxidizing the sign will change into negative so once you try to get the the total number of volts it will be the, the um, number of volts of oxygen which is positive and the number of volts of, of um, silver which is negative so change from positive to negative it will be a subtraction and it will be equal to this 
0.43 volts so from there that's pretty easy just plugging in um, the values on the formula to find delta G equals to 4 because it's number of moles per of electrons 4 2 times 2 is equal to 4 electrons and then from that you'll go multiplying by the number of F which is 96 500 times the total number of, of volts which is 0.43 you, mul you will multiply and you get delta G which is negative 170 kilojoules per moles and never never forget the kilojoules per moles some other questions might ask you if you keep it in two joules or or kilojoules if, if it's if it, the question asks you to keep it in joules you will multiply by 100 and I mean by a thousand and just add three zeros but it's, it's okay on this problem to leave it in kilojoules because it's not asking so then to find it K constant you have to use this formula which is delta G equals negative RT ln of K then you will plug in your values of negative 170 kilojoules equals to 8.314 kilojoules of moles this is the R and then the 298 Kelvin which is given to the ln of K the ln of K will come outside and multiply this and divide by the delta G this will be equal to 69 and then from the final final part you just take the ln of 69 on the calculator and it will be, and it will be equals to k equals to 9 times 10 to the 29 well this was a basically a really straightforward problem it it will get harder harder later on but um yeah hopefully this can help you and get better at cal uh, uh, chemistry thank you and uh, See you later.